a most uh, respected uh, madam shri devi chief guest of the day shri prakash rao senior scientist uh, professor uh, vasagam dr murli krishna reddy and uh, dr gopal krishnan madam banu madam saujanya and uh, dr ravi shankar other uh, principals who have assembled here and dear students we in fact started on a very small scale 25 years back that was in 1995 when uh, shri devi madam started a school with two teachers and 20 students that was the scale today after 27 years we have 10000 students studying in our room <laughs> madam shri devi the credit goes to you i said two student two staff members and 20 students in 1995 today it is 10000 students the entire credit is to our honorable madam shri devi thank you very much for coming and uh, gracing the occasion dear students this mission of 75 satellites is very well articulated and uh, i understand that with the full support of isro itca is handling all the 75 satellites very very innovative work when uh, dr gopal krishnan our advisor of the r&d in our engineering college suggested and uh, mentioned about this event madam banu immediately said we should utilize this opportunity and take this because in 2010 the earlier satellite we, we had launched it was on a consortium of engineering colleges where nagarjuna also was a part of that our students were benefited out of that we had participated in 2010 and we are launching uh, launching the second satellite now it's a great honor for us and uh, i should thank uh, madam banu for excellently initiating this entire program not only today's program but the 75 satellite Nagarjuna should be a part of the 75 satellite program that is the vision with which uh, she started the work and i am very happy that Nagarjuna College of Engineering and the entire Nagarjuna group of institutions is a part of this program it is one of the unique program now madam has initiated this with her vision but it is for the students to take it up you have to utilize the opportunity students please note as our honorable guests have mentioned the entire benefit should go to the students you should learn and there is lot of opportunity in the space technology in the coming years that is the kind of uh, input they have given so please utilize the opportunity whatever is provided and come up in your life vikram sarabhai when he was the chairman when abdul kalam was the project director i had re read somewhere that there was some failure and the computer identified that uh, maybe 4 minutes earlier that the launch should not be done there is a fault or some problem in the launching then they said we will switch over to manual mode and then we will launch it but that launch failed when that launch failed abdul kalam was the project director but vikram sarabhai usual thing is the chairman of isro will address the press conference after a lunch but at that time when vikram sarabhai was addressing the press he said i will take the responsibility of this failure though the responsibility was of dr abdul kala but that was the kind of uh, management lesson that uh, we should all learn when there is a failure the leader should take the responsibility when there is a success 
the success should be given to the team. So, the success of this program, I should give it to the entire team. This team has made the day possible with this launch and not only this team sitting on the stage, the team that is sitting in front and in our other seminar halls through the video conferencing, through the um, uh, what is that YouTube uh, live show who are participating, the credit should go to all of you, each one of you. And today's program is a successful program. I'm very happy that uh, children from different uh, colleges have come. Let them utilize the opportunity and let them get the exposure as to what the satellite is all about. When it is only when you understand what the satellite is about and how we can utilize the satellite is another part. Where we should use, whether it is exclusively for the communication or for other purposes as our uh, Gopal Krishnan was mentioning, uh, application of IoT in the satellite. Probably if that can be successful, many new things will come in. I am very happy that uh, ISRO is uh, behind all our activities, helping the society. Even in the fishing also, they were saying, they can identify where the fish is accumulating and where the fishermen should go. That kind of input. I was talking to Srinivas, he was mentioning, we are able to give the meteorological uh, advancement, announcement. He said, next two days there will be rain. Am I right? See, that is the kind of uh, scientific uh, approach. And whatever projections that are coming out from the ISRO now, they are all data-based, data-driven, very well uh, articulated and analyzed and therefore it will come true. That is the kind of uh, implication that we have. And uh, I should thank uh, our honorable uh, guest, uh, namely Prakash Rao. Today is a Saturday. I was asking, five day week for ISRO, I was, while talking to them, I was asking, they said uh, ISRO works for 24 by 7. That is the culture. I should appreciate the ISRO culture and I thank uh, our uh, Honorable Chief Guest for having come all the way from RR Nagar, Bangalore South to Bangalore North. Thank you very much, sir, for your presence. I also thank uh, Madam for accompanying uh, uh, Sri Prakash Rao. Thank you very much, Madam. Professor Vasakam, when he got up from the sofa, I was observing, you are very alert, sir, and uh, he is very active. He is really a moving encyclopedia. He has given a lot of input to you. Fantastic, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, afternoon, we expect more and more questions from the students. The interaction also will be handled by the ISRO team. And whatever is your curiosity, whatever is your doubt regarding a satellite, please come out with that doubt. I think uh, we can get the answer from the ISRO scientists who are all uh, very well knowledge scientists in the area of satellites. Thank you very much uh, for uh, coming, sir, and uh, helping us with all this uh, project. Dr. Murli Krishna Reddy is instrumental in the whole of uh, 75 uh, satellites. Their role is there. That is the interaction they have and uh, that is the application they have. Thank you very much uh, for helping us in getting one satellite ready out of these 75 satellites. Thank you very much, sir, for your uh, presence and address. Madam uh, Saujanya, she is also a very young uh, lady who is also having a lot of vision and aspirations. Day before yesterday, she started one more uh, unit of uh, the Nagarjuna group, namely Nova's a preschool. The idea and the concept itself is very unique. If you have time, you please visit that school in Yalanka. She has brought it in a very, very nice way with a lot of creativity and concept. She has made herself to come here. Thank you very much for all the help and uh, you are, yeah, you have assured your 100% support to this program from your school also. Thank you very much for all that. Dr. Gopal Krishnan is instrumental in getting this uh, 
project to us. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Gopakrishnan. You should handle the students and see that uh, they sail through and get the maximum benefit. Dr. Ravi Shankar is the principal of the college. Very knowledgeable person. I use one of his quotes. Uh, shall I use one, one of your quotes, sir? Dear students, if you want to shine like a sun, if you want to shine like the sun, burn like the sun. First you have to burn like the sun. This uh, statement from Ravi Shankar I heard and I saw one of the cars, sir, one of his colleagues, he has put this statement on the back side of his uh, dicky. Very interesting. Highly respected and knowledgeable person, uh, Dr. Ravi Shankar, under his guidance, we have formulated this entire uh, day's program. Thank you very much, uh, Ravi Shankar, for your uh, presence and uh, also the welcome address. I should thank uh, the scientists from uh, ISRO, namely uh, Mr. Shankar and uh, Mr. Srinivas who have come. See, one unique thing is, they have assured, sir, while discussing, apprenticeship or the internship for our project for our students as well as the project work for our students that's a great gesture on your part sir thank you very much for that and uh, i request all the students to visit the lab moving lab which is uh, again a concept uh, idealized by the honorable prime minister to take the van or the bus to the villages and see that more and more students will be exposed to the space technology. Please visit that uh, lab, a moving lab, which is parked there near our uh, uh, playground, civil engineering uh, block opposite to that. Please visit that lab and whatever doubts you have, come in the afternoon here so that your doubt clearing session also will be done. I take this opportunity to thank another uh, dignitary, Dr. Uh, Odai Pri Krishna, the Honorary Secretary of the Sheshal uh, Group of Educational Institutions, for having spared his time and come over here. Thank you very much, uh, sir. I also thank all our principals, especially uh, Madam Lena, for the excellent uh, state design did you all like the stage? Students, the credit should go to Lena, Madam. <laughs> then uh, the discipline committee headed by Dr. Anandama, food committee headed by Professor Raghavendra, all other uh, people, Professor uh, Manohar Naraji, the director of uh, the Nagarjuna group of institutions, and uh, Shri Bhaskar Reddy, the financial officer, NGI. Dr. Jitendra Nath Mungara, director in the Nagarjuna group of institutions and all other uh, HODs, principals, namely Dr. Harish Babu and uh, Professor Nanjudapa. Have I left out anybody? All other HODs and uh, the staff members of the Nagarjuna group of institutions, principals of other uh, organizations from other uh, schools and colleges who have come here. I thank all the principals for the excellent initiative they have taken in enlightening their children. It is an opportunity for all the children to get exposed. So these principals have taken the leadership and uh, they have brought their children here. Good. I thank all the principals the present media, they have come in large numbers. I thank all the present media people for uh, their presence and I request them to cover this in an excellent way, maybe in the today's news and uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Thank you very much. I also thank uh, all the students. They are the backbone of all these activities. Thank you very much for participating. You please involve